This is San Diego, California. Serving a population of 3.3 million people, a network of light rail, commuter rail, and bus rapid transit lines run across this U.S. city, servicing 82 stations along their routes. Consisting of 117 miles of track and 8 miles of dedicated busway, the system connects various cities across San Diego, with trains and buses traveling from downtown to various outlying cities. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. San Diego's first trolley line was launched in July 1981, making it the oldest modern light rail system in the United States. Starting from the US-Mexico border at San Isidro, the line traveled north into downtown, servicing 18 stations to Santa Fe Depot. Five years later, in March 1986, a second line was added to the system, with trains beginning on the east line. Starting from the south line terminus at the Santa Fe Depot, the route followed the south line to 12th and Imperial, before branching off east to service four new stations to Euclid Avenue. At the same time, the downtown station at San Diego Square was closed, given its close proximity to the gas lamp station. In October of that year, an infill station was opened on the south line at Bayfront and E Street, relieving congestion from the nearby stop at 8th Street. Three years later, in May 1989, an extension of the East Line was opened, adding four new stations to Spring Street. The following month, an additional four-stop extension opened, taking the route to Main and Marshall Station in El Cajon. A new weekend shuttle train began in May 1990, running from 12th and Imperial Station to the newly opened San Diego Convention Center. One month later in June, service on this segment was expanded, with the East Line taking over service from Santa Fe Depot back around to the 12th and Imperial Station. At the same time, various stations downtown were renamed, with Santa Fe Depot becoming Columbia Street and Gas Lamp becoming 5th Avenue. On the East Line, the terminal station at Main and Marshall was renamed to El Cajon, while Broadway Lemon Grove was renamed to Lemon Grove Depot. The downtown station at Columbia Street was closed in November 1991, with tracks in the area being reconfigured. In its place, a new station was opened nearby at American Plaza, with the South Line being extended to end at the stop. A further extension of the South Line opened eight months later in July 1992, with two new stations to County Center, Little Italy. The extension also included a relocated stop at Santa Fe Depot, providing more convenient access to the Amtrak station of the same name. Three years later, commuter rail service began in San Diego, running from the Santa Fe Depot in downtown. Starting in February 1995, the coaster line ran north to the Oceanside Transit Center, which provided connections to Los Angeles' Metrolink commuter rail system. In August, a three-station extension of the East Line opened, taking the route to Santee. The following June, the North Line was extended three stops, ending at the coaster station at Old Town. Service on the network was rebranded in November 1997, with the lines now being referred to by colors. The East Line was designated as the Orange Line, while the North-South Line became the Blue Line. At the same time, the Blue Line was extended east from Old Town, with seven new stations opening to Mission San Diego. Three years later, an infill stop was opened on this segment, with trains stopping at Fenton Parkway in September 2000. In downtown, the station at 12th and Market was reconstructed in March 2004, with the stop being renamed to Park and Market. Two new trolley lines were launched in July 2005, five years after the last system expansion. A new green line began service, running between Old Town and Santee. Four new stations were serviced along with existing stops on the blue and orange lines, including the system's only underground stop at San Diego State University. With this change, service on the blue line was cut back to Old Town, with trains running in rush hours only to Qualcomm Stadium. On the orange line, trains were cut back one stop to Weld Boulevard, which was renamed to Gillespie Field at that time. A new special events line also began service, running during larger events at the Qualcomm Stadium and in downtown. Starting from the stadium, the route traveled south to Gaslamp Quarter, providing connections between these two entertainment areas. The rush hour extension of the Blue Line to Qualcomm Stadium ended in September 2006, reducing duplication on this section of the system. Two years later, in March 2008, a new diesel light rail line was launched, running across the northern end of San Diego County. Starting from the Oceanside Transit Center at the end of the coaster line, the route traveled east to the Escondido Transit Center, servicing 14 new stops. Three years later, in August 2011, 
a new trolley line was launched in downtown San Diego, with a heritage streetcar running limited trips. The Silver Line ran in a clockwise loop from 12th and Imperial, servicing all stops in downtown. Routes on the network were reconfigured in September 2012, in order to provide more direct connections into downtown. Service on the Blue Line was cut back from Old Town to American Plaza, while the Orange Line was cut back from 12th and Imperial to the Santa Fe Depot. The Special Events Line was discontinued, with these stops now being serviced by the Green Line. On the opposite end of the Orange Line, Service was cut back from Gillespie Field to El Cajon, reducing service levels on the stretch of the system. The Blue Line station at Bayfront E Street was also renamed at this time, now being referred to simply as E Street. San Diego's first dedicated bus lanes opened in October 2014, with a half-mile median busway running along Park Boulevard. Servicing buses on the 215 Rapid route, the segment included two centerline stations at Howard and University Avenues along with enhanced curbside stops along the rest of the route. In 2015, San Diego began selling the naming rights for various lines in order to fund improvements to the system. The Silver Line rights were bought by the San Diego Gas and Electric Company, while later that year, the Blue Line rights were purchased by the University of California, San Diego Health. On the other end of the spectrum, the Green Line station at Qualcomm Stadium was simplified to stadium in June 2017, following a change of sponsorship for the center. Orange Line service was revised one month later in July, with the line being cut back from Santa Fe Depot to American Plaza. In October, naming rights for the Green Line were sold to Suquan Casino, with the El Cajon stop on the line also being renamed after the venue. A new busway opened along Interstate 15 in March 2018, adding 2.4 miles of dedicated lanes. Buses on the 235 Rapid serviced two Centerline stations at City Heights and Boulevard with trips running in the I-15 HOV lanes between downtown San Diego and the Escondido Transit Center. One month later in April, service on the Orange Line was changed once again, improving operations on the network. In downtown, service was cut back from American Plaza to a new platform at Courthouse, while at the opposite end, trains were extended one stop from Al Cajon Suquan to Arnell Avenue. A third busway opened in southern San Diego County in January 2019, with 3.7 miles of lanes running in the median of East Palomar Street. Five center lane stations were serviced along the stretch, with buses continuing in HOV lanes into downtown San Diego. The following summer, an additional 1.4 miles of lanes were opened west from Heritage, although no new stations were included on this segment. Finally, in November 2020, the Green Line station at Stadium was closed, following the demolition of the adjacent property. This brings us to the San Diego Rapid Transit map that we know today. In the years to come, more extensions are planned for the San Diego Transit Network, which will see new stations open on the system. In November 2021, the Blue Line will be extended north to UC San Diego, following the Green Line to Old Town and continuing north to service nine new stations. One year later, in November 2022, the stadium station on the Green Line is expected to reopen, coinciding with new developments in the area. That was the evolution of San Diego's rapid transit network, giving us the six rail lines and three busways that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our evolution of the network videos on other American cities, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground until the next one.